Hello and welcome to our reflections on the readings for morning prayer and this week beginning the 26th of July. We are reading from James chapter 2 onwards. The precise readings you'll find in our newsletter on our website or indeed through the Church of England prayer app called Daily Prayer. So here we are in a bit further on into the letter of James and he is keen for us to show our faith by the way that we live. He wants us to put into practice all that we hear and know about God and that we declare is what we believe about God. Perhaps for him it is summed up in that royal law, as he calls it, that we should love our neighbours as ourselves. And that gets away then from us showing discrimination to one group of people against another. The core of his uh, argument comes in this chapter where he says that faith without action is dead. Christian faith needs to be expressed not just in words but also in the lifestyle and the attitudes that we have. Christian faith is not simply about repeating a phrase such as, I believe in Jesus, and that turning us into a faithful Christian. It is about letting the reality of that phrase show by the lifestyle and attitudes and behaviour that we have. Indeed, James says it is a, a shocking realisation that the devil can say, I believe in God, but of course it does him no eternal good whatsoever. He does not allow that statement to translate into action in his life, but puts God in the number one slot and seeks to follow God's way of living and behaving. We need to get ourselves sorted out about this phrase, about life, uh, about faith without action is dead because it fits in with the rest of the Bible that shows us that our actions follow on from our faith. Faith is awakened in God, saving faith in Jesus, and then the actions follow on from that. It is not the case that our actions, our deeds, create a saving faith in Jesus. We've got to get the horse and the cart the right way around. And it's the horse of saving faith that pulls the cart of the actions and deeds in our lives. And I suppose if we're looking for things that really need to make sense in our lives, then we're all caught uh, by that uh, passage in James 3 when he talks about how the tongue, our speech, needs to be brought under the Lordship of Jesus. Every single part of our life needs to make sense in that Christian way. When we're saying that we believe in Jesus, every single part of our life needs to be under his lordship. Much to be challenged by in this letter, uh, much to rejoicing that God has made it possible for us to believe in Jesus and for that transformation in our lives to be there through the work of the Spirit. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, as we continue to read through this letter and find parts of it very challenging, we pray that your Spirit will challenge us in the right way. That challenge that brings us closer to you, that gives us a better perspective on you and on ourselves and encourages us to move closer to you and to your way of living that brings you glory and honour. May your spirit transform us through what we read in this letter of James. May it be to your glory. Amen. <laughs>